Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Imagine this, you are working in an exciting project and instead of juggling between tabs, copying and pasting codes, or struggling to explain ideas to a tool, you have an AI right beside you, seamlessly collaborating with you. OpenAI Canvas is not just a tool, it's your collaborative partner. It's like having a teammate who's fast, reliable, and never needs a coffee break. Today, I'm taking you on a journey to discover OpenAI Canvas. And trust me, it's a game changer. Whether you are a developer, a designer, or someone love creating, this workspace will transform the way you collaborate with AI. And to make it exciting, we are going to build something fun together. A song lyric analyzer app. Excited? Let's dive in. Welcome to this tutorial on OpenAI Canvas. Picture this. Instead of copying and pasting between different chat windows, what if you can work side by side with ChatGPT? Just like having a colleague looking at your screen. That's exactly what Canvas offers. A collaborative workspace where you can write, code, and refine ideas with AI. Let's dive in into something fun and useful, analyzing song lyrics with Python. We will use OpenAI Canvas to create a Python application that can read song lyrics from a text file, identify common use words and phrases, generate a word cloud, and even perform sentiment analysis to determine if the song is sad, happy, or neutral. Let's get started. To start using Canvas, we have two options. Either from the tool we choose from here canvas and type our prompt or we can ask ChatGPT to open a new canvas. Alright, now let's start creating our song lyric analyzer application by writing the following prompts. And click send. Now that Canvas has generated the complete Python script for analyzing song lyrics, let's take a closer look at how it works. I will break this down step by step so you can see exactly what's happening. First, Canvas imports all the necessary libraries for us. RE for cleaning up the lyrics, removing punctuation and special characters. Counter from collections to count the most common words. Word Cloud to generate a beautiful visualization of the lyrics. Matplotlib to display the word cloud and Textplot for sentiment analysis. This will tell us if the song feels happy, sad, or neutral. The best part, Canvas will automatically install any libraries you don't already have when you run the code. Next, we have the clean lyrics function. This function does two things. It removes all punctuation and special characters using a regular expression. It converts the text to lowercase for consistency. This ensures our word analysis isn't skewed by capital letters or unnecessary characters. Now let's look at the get common words function. Here what it does. It splits the lyrics into individual words. It uses the counter class to count how often each word appears and by default it returns the top 10 most common words. So if a word like storm or work appears frequently in the lyrics, it will be ranked higher. Then this is where the magic happens, the generate word cloud function. Here what it does, it creates a word cloud using the cleaned lyrics. Then words that appear more frequently are displayed larger in the cloud. And finally, it uses matplotlib to display the word cloud in a clean and beautiful format. This word cloud uh, visual makes it easy to see which word dominates the song. It's perfect for exploring themes and repeated ideas. Now let's analyze the mood of the song with the sentiment analysis function. 
It uses TextBlob to analyze the lyrics and calculate a polarity score. If the score is positive, the song is classified as happy. If it is negative, the song is sad. And if the score is neutral, the song is well neutral. This is a simple but effective way to capture the overall sentiment of the song. Finally, the main function, which ties everything together. Here's how it flows. The program prompts the user to enter the path to the lyric text file. It reads the lyrics and cleans them. It identifies the most common words and prints them. It generates and displays the word cloud. It performs sentiment analysis and tells us whether the song is happy, sad, or neutral. And finally, it even handles error gracefully like if the file does not exist. And at the very end, the program runs automatically when we execute the script. This ensures everything works together seamlessly. And that's it, in just a few minutes, Canvas generates this entire script from reading lyrics and analyzing them to creating a wordy cloud and even performing sentiment analysis. It's clean, efficient, and easy to understand. Now let's run the code and see it in action. To run the code, click run here at the top. As we can see, Canvas is installing the packages and running the code now. And we got an error. To fix this error, click on it and then fix bug. You can see here on the left it's editing and it will tell you the reason why we got this error and how it's going to fix the bug again. As you can see the code has been updated to avoid file input output errors by embedding sample lyrics directly in the script. Let's run the code again and we get the result. Let's maximize this console. As we can see here in the output, we have the most common words, you is three, my is three, shine is three. Notice how words like you, mine, and sunshine appear most frequently. This gives us an idea of the song theme. It's personal, cheerful, and uplifting. And now here's the word cloud. Look at this, it's beautifully visualized the most common words from the lyrics. Words like you, sunshine, and my are larger because they appear more frequently, while less common words appear smaller. This is such a great way to instantly capture the essence of the song. Finally, the sentiment analysis gives us this result. The lyrics positive words like sunshine and happy reflect the cheerful tone of the song. Isn't that amazing? In just a few lines of Python code, we have analyzed the song theme and mood. With OpenAI Canvas, we were able to run this script easily, generate clear outputs and visualize our data, all in one seamless workflow. Whether it's text analysis, visualization, or sentiment analysis, Canvas makes it incredibly easy to bring your ideas to life. And now let's take this a step further by enhancing the application using Canvas powerful features. Let's make the application even better. Canvas provides some amazing tool for this. I will highlight the word cloud generation code and ask Canvas to explain this concept. As you can see here on the left, we get the explanation of this concept which is one of the most impressive feature of OpenAI Canvas is its ability to teach you step by step. By simply highlighting the generate word cloud function, it broke the concept down into clear actionable step. It explained how the word cloud object worked, specifying dimension and background color. It detailed how the word cloud is visualized with matplotlib, including smooth rendering and a clean display. And finally, it summarizes why this function is useful, emphasizing the most frequent words in a clear visual format. This is incredibly helpful, especially for beginners or team members learning the code. You are not just generating result, you are learning how the code works. It's like having a patient AI tutor who can explain complex concepts in simple terms. So whether you are onboarding a new developer, brushing up on Python skill, or just exploring AI-driven workflows, Canvas ensures you are not just coding, you are growing. This feature alone makes Canvas a game changer for both learning and productivity. Now let's optimize the script. I will click on code review. 
as you can see here on the left, we have five comments. Uh, Canvas is telling us that it reviewed the code and left suggestion to improve its quality, focusing on better text processing, flexibility, and scalability. Here on the right, we can see the comments. We can apply each one by clicking on apply, or we can ignore it by clicking on X. Let's apply all the, all the recommendation. Let me walk you through the updates. It added handling for extra spaces in the text, ensuring cleaner input processing. A stop word removal option was introduced, making the word frequency analysis more meaningful by excluding coming words like and or the. The word cloud function was updated to allow customization of width, height, and background color, which adding flexibility. The sentiment analysis was enhanced with the Vader library, providing more nouns and accurate result. Lastly, the lyric word moved into a dedicated function for better clarity and usability. These changes not only improved the course performance and readability, but also made it more adaptable for different use cases. This is what makes Canvas so powerful. It doesn't just generate code, it helps you continuously improve it. Let's move on and see what else we can do. Every good application needs testing. Canvas makes this very easy. I will click on Add Logs to trace the data flow through the script. See how Canvas plays strategic logging points. And we get here a message from Canvas that I have inserted debug log throughout the code to trace its behavior and output. These logs will help identify issues during execution. Let's enhance our word cloud visualization with Dal E. I will type the following Generate a soft golden sky with subtle cloud as background for the word cloud and press enter. Let's run the code now. And we get the generated image. It's stunning and adds so much depth to the visualization. For fun, let's visualize the sentiment with an abstract design. I will type the following again, create an abstract image representing a happy sentiment with vibrant color. And we get the abstract image. This adds a creative storytelling elements to our analysis. Finally, let's check out the version control feature. I will click on show changes to see every modification we have made so far. We can even restore earlier version of a specific section, like the generate cloud function. By clicking on previous version, we have here this option, restore this version or back to the latest version. This feature gives us the confidence to experiment without worrying about losing progress. And there you have it. In just few minutes, we were able to transform ideas into working application using Canvas. Designing, coding, optimizing, and even creating visual all in one place. No more jumpings between different apps and fighting with messy workflows. Canvas is here to make your creative process smoother, faster, and honestly, a lot more fun. And the best part, this is just the beginning. Imagine what else you could create with a tool like this from a personalized projects to a team collaboration. If this got your creative gear turning, hit that subscribe button and join me for more deep dive into AI tools like this. And hey, let me know in the comments what we should be exploring next. Your ideas inspires me as much as Canvas does. Until next time, keep creating and keep dreaming big.